Hello and welcome to my channel. Since you're here, I'm going to assume you have an interest in CNC, plasma tables, and making stuff. This video is all about the Langmuir Crossfire Personal Plasma Table. I'm going to talk about the assembly of the product, the customer support, and what it takes to get one of these units into Canada. Jumping right in, I'm going to take you from the very crack of the first box, which you've already seen, to making my first cut. Now, I'm pretty decent at assembling IKEA furniture, and I think that's a prerequisite to do this. You have to read the instructions for this, and they're all online. And while the instruction package is not bad, it's also not great. Part of the problem is the labeling of these bigger pieces. Now, the nuts and the bolts, they were all labeled really well. And obviously, the four legs were, well, obvious. But the four legs and the four upper support pieces, well, they're all orientated in a specific direction. And I really felt that I spent a lot of time doing a simple task that wasn't so simple because it wasn't labeled properly. Next up were the slats, the cutting slats. Now I read ahead to make sure that I wasn't really missing anything, but the instructions did not say, hey, if you bought the water table, skip this step. And I put these slats in and then I just had to take them back out again. It wasn't until I got to the gantry installation that I realized this just doesn't look right. What am I missing? And then I had to take it all back apart again. Now from an instruction point of view, that's about it. Everything else went fairly smoothly past this point. And I guess I should have talked about the shipping before the assembly, but hey, who cares? Anyways, I'm in Canada, and I don't think Langmuir realizes that shipping to Canada is a little bit different than shipping to the US. So obviously we have to pay tariffs and duties, but on top of that, there's brokerage fees. Langmuir sent me the water table. Then a couple weeks later, they sent me the plasma table. And then about a month later, I had to send an email and say, hey, you need to complete your order and I need the razor weld plasma torch. They had forgotten. Now the polite Canadian in me, well, I wasn't upset. You know, it's a pandemic after all, and we're all overworked and understaffed. I get it. So to my fellow Canadians, unless you have a brokerage number, make sure you specify to Langmere to ship everything in one shipment. In other words, have one lay bill because I got charged brokerage fees times three, which was kind of a pain in the butt. And now here's where I got a little bit pissed off. The Razor Weld 45 unit that I got was dead on arrival. Now Jassic, which is the company that makes Razor Weld, they're a wholesaler. They don't retail. And since I paid Langmuir for this unit, they're the retailer. And since this was a dead on arrival unit, I really feel that Langmuir should have just sent me another one and taken care of this right from the word go. But they didn't. They passed me off to Jassic. And of course, Jassic had a back order situation and couldn't get me another unit. With the Christmas break and the back order unit and the multitude of emails I had to send, it took about a month just to get a replacement unit of the unit I had to wait for a month to get in the first place. So from start to finish, it took four months for me to be able to cut a piece of metal. For my Canadian friends, the plasma table, the water table upgrade, and the Jassic Razor Weld 45, by the time it was shipped, taxed, tariffed, and brokeraged, this was about 4,000 Canadian dollars. Ouch. And with that, I'm done bitching. And now on to the good part of the review. This is a personal plasma table. You're probably not going to be able to use this tool to run a full-time business cutting out parts. But who cares? The fact that I can take an idea out of my head, design it and digitize it on a computer, then output that file to a device that can make something out of metal for this price point, well, all I can say is what a time to be alive because that's incredible. Now don't get me wrong, there's a steep learning curve because this isn't necessarily easy. Well, I have day two of trying to get this uh, plasma cutter working and the table and everything seems to be functioning. I've got the proper tool path down. I can't seem to get the torch to fire, so I'm gonna go into a little bit of diagnosis mode right now. I went home last night to read up. All right, F5. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I just found the problem. 
and I think it's that resistor right there, has somehow gotten damaged in shipping or wasn't securely fastened in the first place. Huh, interesting. This is gonna be it, I can tell, this is gonna be the one. <laughs> So now this is real time. I haven't sped this footage up or slowed it down for this section. I want you to see how long it takes to cut out this uh, Project 308. Now if you're new to the concept of CNC, it might be a little bit of a learning curve. I think the designing of the part in the software is going to be the biggest challenge for most newcomers. I had an early on interest in 3D printing and had a 3D printer years and years ago and learned a software called Fusion 360. 3D printing is three dimensional obviously, but this is two dimensional, so this is actually easier. So if you have no experience at all in this world, you're better off picking yourself up a small 3D printer and getting used to working in this environment because to start off from scratch might be a bit overwhelming, but hey, if you want it badly enough, anything's possible. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch the rest of this. If you have any questions about this machine or the process or anything in general, just drop me a line or a message and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and give me a subscribe if you feel so inclined. Cheers. Bye-bye. My sweet baby Jesus, it finally worked. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, this is the uh, new machine? Look yes. At that. Oh, look at that. Did you get that on video? Yeah, it's still going. It's oh, okay. Literally just finished seconds ago. Nice. Oh. Did you um, write the program for that? I wrote it. Nice. Um, I wanted to know if Tom brought the part back.